For West Midlands officers George Lever and Matt Fitzgerald, on the surface at least, it's business as usual. If you go, you get straight down here. But these are unsettling times. The police service is undergoing its most fundamental change in the modern era. No longer will chief constables have the ultimate authority. The election of police and crime commissioners will give them the power to hire and fire police chiefs. So what, who Jamie Johnson now? interviewed more than 40 police chiefs and elected officials in the US and believes police here may have good reason to be nervous. Without doubt, their conclusion was that conflict is likely. The area. However, the US police study also concluded steps can be taken to help ensure that chiefs and their elected officials work more constructively. The politician and the chief constable have to sit down at the beginning of the politician's time in office and agree a shared policing strategy and a philosophy which they can stand by and they can take to the public with confidence. The reality on the ground will do little to aid harmonious relationships. Over-exuberant election promises may be impossible to keep as the new police and crime commissioners have to draw up their five-year policing plans at a time of massive budget cuts. It's something that, that few candidates probably would have, would have campaigned, campaigned on um, in terms of their ability to, to manage the finances and, and so on. But you know, these are large, complex organisations employing several thousand people, in most cases um, several hundred million pound budgets. And I think getting to grips with that quickly will be, uh, will be a key challenge. Another key role for police and crime commissioners will be to consult regularly with the public on policing priorities. And there lies another avenue for potential conflict, as particularly forceful PCCs might be tempted to interfere in day-to-day -day operational decisions. Their job is to hold uh, the chief constable to account, not to be uh, the chief constable. And certainly, yeah, I will welcome forceful personalities uh, as PCCs. You know, they've got a big, important job. And what I don't want to see is them becoming like too many of the police authorities did, particularly cosy with their local chief constables. On the 15th of November, you will have a vote. An advertising campaign has sought to boost the public's appetite for these elections. In truth, the government is braced for an historically low turnout. If the public don't want them, the police certainly don't. But in a few days' time, they'll have no choice but to work with their new political overlords. Mark White, Sky News.